Hey everyone, today we are delving into the world of electromagnetism. Our focus will center on one of its fundamental aspect, electrical force. We have three simple questions that will help us understand electrical force better. First, what sets electrical force apart from other forces? Next, we'll explore the strength of electrical force and its tremendous strength compared to other force. Lastly, where do we encounter electric forces in our daily lives? Let's dive in and uncover the amazing secrets of electrical force. Electrical force is one of the fundamental forces in nature. It acts between matters, just like gravity. Gravitational force acts between objects with mass pulling towards each other. For instance, the Earth exerts a strong gravitational force, which keeps the moon from flying away into space. While gravity only pulls objects together, electrical force can do a bit more. Electrical force acts between matters with charges. However, there are two kinds of charges. And we label them as positive and negative. A matter with a positive charge and another with a negative charge will attract each other, much like how gravity works. But unlike gravity, which only pulls things together, electrical force can do more. Depending on the charges, electrical force can either pull things close or push them away. When charges share the same sign, such as two positive charges, they repel each other. Similarly, two negative charges will repel each other as well. Conversely, charges with different signs attract each other. Let's now explore what impacts the strength of electrical forces. The law that governs the electrical forces between two charged particles is called Coulomb's law. There are two main factors primarily influencing the strength of the force. The amount of charge of each particle and the distance between them. First, let's consider the impact of charge on the electrical force between particles. The electrical force between two charged particles is directly proportional to the product of their charges. If one or both charges become larger, their product increases, and the force between them becomes stronger. Conversely, if the charges become smaller, their product becomes smaller, and as a result, the electrical force will be weaker. Next, let's consider distance. The electrical force between two charged particles is inversely proportional to the square of the distance between them. As the distance between particles increases, the electrical force between them becomes weaker. On the other hand, as the two charged particles approach each other, the electrical force between them becomes stronger. As previously mentioned, Coulomb's law describes the electrical force between charged particles. It states that this force is inversely proportional to the square of the distance. Interestingly, it shares similarities with Newton's inverse square law for gravitational forces. Both laws describe forces that depend on the product of certain properties and the square of the distance between objects. Now let's turn our attention to the constants associated with these laws. The constant in Coulomb's law is called Coulomb's constant. On the other hand, the constant in Newton's law is called the gravitational constant. It is worth noting that the difference in their magnitude is significant. Indeed, they are not using the same unit. Therefore, it is not straightforward to determine their relative strengths. To make a meaningful comparison between these distinct forces, we need to consider them within the same scenario. So, let's set up an equitable setting and compare them. Here, we are considering the hydrogen atom. This atom consists of a single proton in the center, which forms the nucleus, and a single electron orbiting around the nucleus. The distance between the proton and the electron in a hydrogen atom is approximately 53 picometers. 
Let's now calculate the gravitational force between the proton and the electron. We use the formula for Newton's law of universal gravitation. Substituting the values of the mass of the proton and electron as well as the distance between them, we get 3.6 times 10 to the power of minus 47 newtons. Next, let's calculate the electrical force between the proton and the electron. We use Coulomb's law. Substitute the values for the charge of the proton, the charge of the electron, and the distance between them into the equation, we obtain 8.2 times 10 to the power of minus 8 newtons. As we've calculated, the gravitational force between the proton and the electron is 3.6 times 10 to the power of minus 47 newtons. While the electrical force between them is 8.2 times 10 to the power of minus 8 newtons. This means that the electrical force is more than a billion of billion of billion of billion times stronger than the gravitational force. However, this leads us to an interesting question. If the electrical force is so much stronger than the gravitational force, why don't we notice such a strong electric force in our daily lives? Well, the answer to this question lies in the balance in electricity. In most materials and objects around us, there are equal numbers of protons and electrons. Let's take a close look at a human body as an example. The human body is made up of various elements, each containing different numbers of protons and electrons. The human body contains approximately 2.3 times 10 to the power of 28 protons. Each of these protons carries a positive elementary charge. So, the total positive charge in a human body is this number of protons times the value of the elementary charge. On the other hand, the human body also contains approximately 2.3 times 10 to the power of 28 electrons. Each of these electrons carries a negative elementary charge. So, the total negative charge in a human body is the number of electrons times the value of the elementary charge. When we sum up the total positive charge and the total negative charge, we find that they cancel each other out. The overall charge in a human body is, therefore, zero. From macroscopic view, everything we see is usually electrically neutral. That's why we don't notice the electric forces in our everyday lives. But just because we don't notice these forces doesn't mean they aren't there. In fact, they are everywhere. Within electrically neutral mixtures, a great number of electrons and protons exert force on each other. In fact, the fundamental basis of all chemical bonds resides in these electrical forces. For example, in ionic bonding, the positive and negative ions are attracted to each other by the electrical force. In metallic bonding, positive ions are embedded within a sea of electrons. In covalent bonding, shared electrons are attracted to the nuclei of both atoms, creating a strong bond. Within a matter, the powerful electrical forces are meticulously counterbalanced due to the precision of atomic arrangement. Such a perfect equilibrium of forces results in tremendously stiffness and strength. Therefore, electrical forces are always present. Those forces sustain the structure of almost everything, from grains of sand to skyscrapers. As we wrap up this video, let's take a moment to revisit the essential points we've explored. The fundamental characteristic of electrical force is that like charges repel, while opposite charges attract. Electrical force is way stronger than gravity, even though it may not be so apparent in our daily lives. This is primarily because most of the objects we encounter are neutral, balancing out their positive and negative charges. Nonetheless, electrical force is crucial to our existence. It is this force that maintains the structural integrity of everything around us. I hope you found this video interesting. Please subscribe to this channel for the latest updates and to join us for future episodes. Thank you for watching.